guys welcome back to another video today as you guys can see from the title i will be doing a book haul slash unboxing i am so excited because i have had these packages lying around my house for a very long time now i'm not the type to hoard boxes like these i just really want to open them as soon as possible so i really want to get rid of these boxes i did purchase these books really long time ago i purchased them from book depot before they closed so it's been a whole month and they just arrived and i do have a few more packages coming in but i can't wait it's been two weeks since i've started compiling these packages i am going to open them right now because i can't stand it let's get on with this book haul slash unboxing and i also have a few physical books that i bought in my local bookstores so they're not packaged into these kind of boxes so i will show those first there are six books that i recently purchased that appeared in my bookshelf reorganization video but i wanted to show them here as well the first one i got is emily henry's book lovers this is the only emily henry book i don't own i own the other books we treat and people meet on vacation and i decided i wanted to get book lovers as well i really like her writing i'm interested to see if i'm gonna like book lovers as well and then i purchased the love waiter by lynn painter i don't have any of her adult books i actually don't even have her young adult books but i read better than the movies when it was still on kindle unlimited so it's one of her recently released books so i was really excited to read this and i did read this in a recent video i read it in a 24 hour readathon i'm gonna link it somewhere in this video so you guys can check out my thoughts about this book and then i bought addicted for now by chris and becca ritchie this one is the third book in the addicted series i'll probably get into this book maybe next month because i just recently read ricochet in the same video that i read the love wagers so i am surprised by how thick it is but really excited for this book as well let me put the books here the next three books i purchased are a part of a series the first three books of the third of glass series by sarah j mass these are the new covers and i bought the uk version because they're cheaper here i read the first three before but i totally forgot the story and so this is a reread and i did sell my previous versions because i thought i wasn't gonna read it but i ended up repurchasing the newer covers i only bought the first three because i heard some people say that you have to get to the air of fire to really know if you're gonna like the story or not but to be frank i actually am currently in the middle of throne of glass i'm around almost halfway through and i currently really like the story so i probably will purchase other books for now i only have the first three of sarah j mathis third of glass series next up i recently went to the bookstore like two three days ago and i did purchase a few more books i bought sarah adams practice makes perfect this one is the second book and i know you have to read when in rome first because these characters are the side characters of when in rome and i don't know much about the book except for the fact that the main guy character here is the bodyguard of the main girl character in when in rome i just didn't get when in rome because it wasn't available when i went to the bookstore offline i thought i was gonna find it but it wasn't available and i couldn't find it online as well so i'll have to wait to get when in rome i figured since i saw this one i'll just get it first and i'll just wait to get when in rome in the future a more exciting book i got is emily henry's happy place this is the bigger paperback if you compare it with like the older emily henry books this one is huge and the only reason why i didn't want to get this sooner enough was because of the size i really don't like having different sizes for books especially the same authors and it was kind of pissing me off but also i didn't want to not read this just because of the size so i ended up just buying the bigger paperback and i'll probably get the standard size paperback when it comes out i'll have two copies but it's okay because i love emily henry i'm gonna get to reading this pretty soon maybe after book lovers <laughs> it's okay baby it's okay these packages keep falling down so i'm gonna get to opening them right now before that though i did open one of these packages because it tore while i was bringing them up and it's Caravel by Stephanie Garber. I've been really wanting to read Once Upon a Broken Heart, but I've heard that if you read that book, you'll get spoilers for the Caravel trilogy. So I decided because I'm a perfectionist and I love completing series, I'm going to read the Caravel trilogy first and then we'll get to Once Upon a Broken Heart. I know the writing and the storytelling is more whimsical and fantastical in a sense. Um, and I also don't really know what the story is about. I know it's some sort of circus. and I know the main character wants to go to the circus and participate but other than that i don't really know what it's about so we're going into this slightly blind and now let us finally open up these boxes i feel like it's christmas all over because i don't remember 
what I bought. Um, I remember a few, but I don't remember everything. It's just exciting to finally open them because I've been dying to open them. Let's just open these. Also, I, it looks like I have a lot of books, but it's actually one book per, per package, so... The first book I got is Funny You Should Ask by Alyssa Sussman. I've been wanting to read this too. This is a second chance romance book between an artist and a reporter and I'm excited. I know I've heard a few mixed reviews about this, but I want to get my own opinion on this. So I decided to finally get this. Let us open the next package. <gasps> no! What the? Guys. Oh my gosh. Ah! Okay, I thought this book wasn't gonna arrive, but <laughs> Mysteries of Thorn Manor by Margaret Rogerson. This is the novella that follows Sorcery of Thorns. And if you guys know, I loved, loved Sorcery of Thorns. I've been wanting to get this, but I couldn't find it anywhere in my bookstore. And I'm so excited that I finally have it. I hate the fact that it's a little bit bent here, but it's okay. This is so exciting. Oh my god, it's so cute. It's like a little tiny book. It's so cute. I think it's like only 150 pages. If you guys don't know, Sorcery of Thorns, please just go read it. I love it so much. It's a fantasy standalone, so you don't feel like you need to read like a whole series, and it's so good. I'm getting even more excited now. <gasps> okay, so the next book I have here is Heartless by Elsie Silver. This is like the newer version, not the indie published one. I actually read this on my Kindle Unlimited and I want to reread this and annotate it so I'm really happy that it's finally here. I actually bought the other two um, books as well, which is Flawless and Powerless, but I think those two books are not in any of these piles, so I'll leave Heartless for now. Ah, we have Legendary by Stephanie Garber. This is the second book, I think, in the Caramel Trilogy. Is this the second book or is this the third book? I think it's the second book in the Caramel Trilogy. Floors are mess. What is this? Ah, I totally forgot I bought this. This is Spinning Silver by Naomi Novik. This is also a fantasy standalone. I don't know anything about it. The retelling of a certain fairy tale, I think. Rumpel still skin? Am I wrong? I may be wrong. Please correct me if I'm wrong. I've heard a lot of YouTubers talk about this, so I decided to get it. And I love the really simple cover too, so I think I know what book this is. And let me tell you, I am excited about this book. It is. It is the book. <laughs> oh wait, it's not the book. I, I'm surprised, but it is still one of the books in the series. This is Magnolia Park's The Long Way Home. I have the first book over here. I'm so excited to complete like the series. I did buy the other books, but I don't think it's here yet, so. Oh my gosh, I'm, ex I'm excited, I'm shocked. I'm, wow, I didn't expect this to be here. If you guys don't know, Magnolia Parks is like London Gossip Girl. And it's a very toxic relationship kind of book, but I've heard a lot of people talk great things about it. And also I love, I love the covers. They're so pretty. The girl Who Fell Beneath the Sea by Axio. Also another fantasy standalone. I. And I love retellings of Asian legends like the Daughter of the Moon Goddess, the retelling of the Moon Goddess Chang'e. I think this is a Korean retelling of a certain legend. I'm not really sure what, but I love it. I love the cover and it's so pretty and I'm excited. As always, I'm always excited. Can I guess? Again, this is a terrible fight finale. Oh, oh my gosh, this is another surprise. Daisy Hates, The Great Undoing. I think this is the second Daisy Hates book. This is also in the Magnolia Park series, but this is about another character called Daisy Hates. I'm supposed to have the first one. I did buy it, but I don't know where it is in here right now. They look so pretty together, and the front covers of them are so pretty. <gasps> Yay! <laughs> Daisy Hates. The covers, they look so much prettier in real life. I have the whole Magnolia Park series books. I have the DZ Hates books. So I'm excited to finally get into this world and to be in pain because I know a lot of people are in pain after reading this book. Okay, I'm gonna guess again. I think this is my Abby Humanist books. And I am correct. The Happy Ever After playlist by Abby Humanist. I loved, loved Part of Your World. And so I decided I wanted to read Abby Humanist's backlist and this is the first book that I got. The premise sounded interesting. I say I bought this because of the premise, but I don't really remember what it's about. Don't quote me on this, but I think it's about a woman who recently, not recently, I think she 
broke up with her fiance a few years ago and she felt like her life is just stuck in that rut ever since she broke up with her fiance and one day she saw a lost dog on the streets and decided to adopt a certain dog a few weeks later the owner of the dog ended up wanting him back and that is how they get to know each other that's why the cover of this has a dog in it because the dog plays a big role in their relationship we have three more packages left Let's do this. Another one of Abby Jimenez's backlist. This is the Friend Zone by Abby Jimenez, and also another one that I like bought because of the premise, but I don't remember what it's about. Maybe it's Friends to Lovers because the Friend Zone, um, but I love a Friends to Lovers, so I probably will enjoy this book as well. This is my last book depot box, by the way, and it is Finale by Stephanie Garber. This is the third book. I'm pretty sure this is the third book in the Carvel trilogy. And once again, super excited and pumped to continue reading this book. And now I will be opening my last package. This is from my local bookstore. I just bought this online because I couldn't find them offline. And I really wanted them. These are new releases. So I decided to purchase them. so hard to open guys i am so excited for these books too i just i just don't know how many times i'm so excited because i'm so excited i have kiss the sky by kristen beccarici this is the newly released traditionally published version and this is about the callaway sisters so this is about rose Callaway and connor cobalt cobalt cat cobalt anyway i'm really excited about this book because i loved i loved rose and connor finally the last book in this book haul probably the most exciting one and probably the one that i'm dying dying to just like jump right into fourth wing by rebecca yaros has been so highly hyped in every single place reading the summary i feel like this is gonna be so my book dragons in a college academic setting and i am very happy that i have this book look at that cover that's it for today's unboxing and haul on haul unboxing haul video i am very very happy about the books that i just opened today i'm gonna go and organize this now and thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you guys enjoyed and i will see you guys in the next video bye okay well when you try